This is Fred Meissner for the Market Technicians Association. We're discussing technical tools today. We're going to discuss the stochastic oscillator, which is one of my favorite tools at the Fred Report, which is my company where I write technical analysis research. What is a stochastic? The stochastic is a momentum oscillator used to measure overbought and oversold conditions. The great thing about the stochastic is that it encompasses the high, low, and closing price in the formula, so it encompasses all of market action. Many mo momentum oscillators and moving average systems and such only use the closing price. That is a defect in those systems which the stochastic eliminates. The stochastic consists of two lines, percent %K and percent %D. The important thing to remember is that percent %D is a moving average of percent %K, and percent %K is essentially a moving average of the trading range. There is another more advanced application in the stochastic, which we will discuss also, that, moving, that is essentially trend determination. Deconstructing stochastics. Stochastics are a bounded oscillator that are plotted as two lines that move only from 0 to 100. By bounded, we mean no matter what the market does, all the stochastic can do is move from 0 to 100. Um, readings above 80 are considered strong and indicates price is, closing, price is closing near its high for the period, and readings below 20 are strong and indicate a price is closing near its low. When percent %K and percent %D lines change direction and the faster percent %K line changes direction to retest a crossing of the percent %D line but doesn't penetrate it, this generally suggests price is stable within the trend and is an excellent entry point and confirms the reversal of price from an oversold condition or an overbought condition if it's crossing to the downside. This also usually coincides with a nice pullback in price that can be used as an entry. Uh, the the important thing to remember here, again, is this is more of the trend-following aspect of stochastics, which we will discuss on the chart in the next couple of charts. Okay, application of the indicator in a bullish sense. In its most pure sense, one wants to buy when percent %K moves below and then above the 20 level on the stochastic oscillator chart. The confirmation of this occurs, that it's a good buy signal by confirmation, that's what we mean, is when percent %K then crosses percent %D to the upside. One must use this methodology in an uptrend only, i.e. when the market is making a pattern of higher highs and higher lows. Um, the uptrend also may be defined as positive moving average configuration or some similar trend following indicator. The important thing to remember here is do this in an uptrend because the indicator will have a tendency to get stuck in the 80 area in an uptrend except for when you get sharp pullbacks in price and your best pullbacks in price will give you another opportunity to enter the market when percent %K moves below and above 20. Here we'll see a chart, and you can see at the very beginning of the chart in the May-July period, essentially two good stochastic signals that are in a trading range when the market is bottoming. The first signal is the one when the stochastic is above 80 and then moves below 80, and you can see how price basically peaked in a very slight downtrend. It made a lower high and then came down into July and went below and above 20. Now, you see the movement up that took out the high of the previous stochastic period where we were at 80 and then the market went sideways for a little bit. And then right before the market essentially took off to the upside, in late July, right near August, you'll see percent %K moved right back down to 20 and crossed over to the upside just before the big move up in the instrument started. This is McDonald's. Notice also now that when the big move up in McDonald's started, i.e. when the stock went from 75 to roughly 78, the stochastic moved up into the 80-90 area and essentially got stuck. Notice that the sell signals on the indicator failed as the market started to trend. This is why we say you should use the stochastic signals only in the direction of the trend.
Notice again, back in the period of mid-November, between November and December, you had another opportunity to buy McDonald's when the percent K went right straight down below 20 and then back above 20 again. Applications of the indicator that are bullish. Other applications are divergence analysis. This is a little bit more sophisticated and not as common with stochastics. It generally divergence only occurs on the bull side of stochastics. What divergence mean is an indicator makes a higher low while price makes lower lows. Uh, we've already discussed number two, but it bears mentioning one more time. Trend detection. The indicator starts to fail by getting stuck in the 70-90 range in a strong uptrend in a bull market. What this means is selling indications fail to produce downside magnitude. This is again why when you're buying using the stochastic, you have to make certain that you're in an uptrend and then not take sell signals, simply raise stop losses or some such uh, risk management measure when the stochastic is above 80. We're going to take a look at a divergence. Note in July, price made a low and the stochastic made a low. And then between August and September, price went down and made a lower low while the stochastic oscillator made a higher low. And then that buy signal produced a very nice uptrend in price from roughly 12 to roughly 15. That is how you use divergence analysis with the stochastic. As I mentioned, those signals don't happen all the time. But when they do, they can be especially powerful. And you should look for that as an opportunity. Uh, bearish applications of the stochastic are the exact opposite. You sell when percent %K moves above and below 80. That is concerned when percent %K crosses percent %D to the downside, and we'll use this in a downtrend. A downtrend is defined as a pattern of lower, low, lower highs and lower lows. A downtrend also may be defined as a negative moving average configuration or some other trend following indicator that you're used to. We're going to show you how the indicator fails in a bear trend. Notice how the period of where the arrows are shown, the stochastic did go above and below 80, and then it got stuck down in the 10 area uh, for quite a while, and the market fell a substantial amount of points. Notice also that when you got your buy signal in September, that buy signal failed to produce much magnitude, and then when the stochastic went back above 80 between September and October, you could use Use that as another sell short point. And that also produced downside with the stochastic getting stuck. Other applications of the stochastic for bearish uh, trading. We indicated before divergence analysis, the indicator making a lower high while price makes a higher high. Um, that is much less common at market tops, and that's because of the nature of market tops. Remember, bottoms are formed on panic. Tops are formed on complacency, so momentum at a bottom has different characteristics than momentum at a top. We also mentioned and showed you in the previous chart trend detection. The indicator fails by getting stuck in the 0 to 30 range in the strong downtrend. What this means is buying indications fail to produce upside magnitude. We showed you that in that one example also on the previous page. We note, again, it's sometimes very important the signal an indicator gives when it fails rather than when it succeeds. This presentation was made possible by the Market Technicians Association. This is Fred Meissner, publisher of The Fred Report at www.thefredreport.com. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. We will be glad to answer any questions directed to the Market Technicians Association that you may have. Thank you and have a good day of trading.